Hi and welcome to this week's weekly rotation video. Today it's more of an update, not a lot has changed in the last week, but I thought I'd just run you through quickly sort of what I have and what I'm doing. So the same as last week, I've got the Lamy All-Star uh, inked with Diamine Jet Black. Uh, with, this has got the fine nib on it and this is sort of my daily writer if you will. Next, uh, following along from that, is the Lamy Safari Neon Lime, which is inked with Mont Blanc Irish Green. Absolutely one of my favourite inks, and the more I use it, the more I absolutely love it. It's a really nice, uh, vibrant, but still really warm green. Then we've got the Visconti uh, Michelangelo with... Hiroshizuku Konpeki. The combination of this pen and ink still, I think, is just beautiful. It's a wet pen and a wet ink, and you just get a lovely, uh, easy flow, which is nice to use. Now, something that's changed ever so slightly is uh, my next pen, which is the Jinhao X750 Purple. Two things have changed with this. Firstly, I swapped the ink out, so now I have um, Lamy Dark Lilac in it, which I'm very grateful to a, a fellow fountain pen user for helping me find a bottle of this ink. But the interesting thing that's changed is that I've changed the nib again. Uh, so now I have a Goulet Nibs 1.5 millimeter nib on there. I'm gonna show you what a, a little writing sample uh, looks like uh, with uh, this nib. So this is a Jin How. No, I've just got the angle right. There we go. Uh, X750 with Lamy Dark Lilac. Now, obviously, with this uh, nib, it is going to power through ink a lot quicker. Um, but when it looks that good on the page, I'm not really sure I mind. I really, really love uh, this ink, and in a nib like this, um, it's just a lot of fun. Next, I have another Lamy Safari with a broad nib. It's the charcoal or matte black, depending on who you talk to, Safari. Um, and I have this one. Here, I'm just gonna go Safari with the broad. And this one is inked with a uh, diamine Prussian blue. This is inked up actually for a review that I'm working on of this ink. Uh, so that'll be posted in sort of a few a few days' time, hopefully. I've got to say at the outset it's not my favourite ink, but it's got some properties that I quite like, so watch the review uh, for that. Next is, the last inked pen I have at the moment is the Twisby 580, uh, the diamond one. Uh, and this has got a medium nib on it. And this is another, uh, I won't write with this one because it is an ink that is I am reviewing at, at the moment. You can see it's sort of sloshing around so you can sort of see what sort of colour uh, we're talking about. It's a really interesting ink uh, and you'll see a review of that uh, quite uh, soon. So keep an eye out, but I love this pen. Um, I do like to try out the inks I'm reviewing in this pen for a while because I think that it actually is a really consistent writer. It's a nice, and it's got good flow, and if an ink doesn't work well in this pen for me, then there's gotta be something sort of wrong with it. It's just a really good pen. Okay, now, it's not inked now, but through this week I've been using this pen, which is a, a flex pen from the, uh, uh, fountain pen revolution um, it's the Indus uh, model uh, it's got a small flex nib on there it's a uh, piston uh, filler and I think it's an interesting little pen it's certainly uh, not the flexiest pen around but the thing I love about it is that it's low maintenance and it's doesn't need nib setting and that stuff like some of the noodlers flex pens which drives me nuts with those pens. Um, so yeah, this is interesting and it's really, really cheap. Um, so an interesting little pen with an interesting little flex nib. 
it goes from sort of a, a fine through to a, um, I suppose, a double broad, uh, perhaps even a little bit more. Uh, but it's, yeah, I had this inked with Robert Oster Tranquility through the week, and it was just beautiful. Um, not sure if I've got a writing sample that I can show you, but if I do have something, I'll, I'll put it up in the, um, in the, up on the review. So yes, as I said, pens are probably the big thing for me, but one thing that I also really love is uh, pencils, and particularly 2B pencils. Uh, and while I'm a, traditionally a, a wood case pen, pencil user, something that caught, that I'm using at the moment, which I'm, I'm also gonna do a little review on, is the uh, Rotring 500 uh, 0.7 millimeter mechanical pencil. Um, it's got some really, really cool features and it's a really lovely sort of sturdy uh, pencil. Um, and as I'm a musician, we power through pencils. So if I can find a mechanical pencil that I actually like, I do tend to, to use it. And so far this is showing really, really positive signs. So there'll be a review of that in a little while as well. So these are the pens I have inked. I'll do a writing sample and show you a, a picture of that now. Um, lots of variety there, lots of different sorts of pens and inks. So yeah, just an update on, on last week's and I hope you found that interesting. If you did, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications button to keep up to date with the videos that I produce. If you've got any stationary pens, pencils, inks that you'd like me to look at, please feel free to send me a message and uh, see what I can do. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, uh, enjoy writing, and I'll see you later.